Hey, welcome to another video. In this video, I'm going to show you a practical example of section everywhere, how you can use it more like in the product page and how good it is. So let's come to the screen and see how it is going to work. The thing is, previously, if you would create a different template for your product, you should go to the code and create a separate like product dot, let's say classic product dot modern or anything dot liquid. Now you don't have to touch that. You can do everything from visually from here and each template will have its own data. Now let's try it. The thing is, if you're on development team, you cannot do this one because you have to assign the product to a template that way you can see it. That's why since I'm in development mode, I cannot do this one. I can create the template. It will be on my team. I have to publish my team live. That way it will be on the live team. So instead of that, I am going to try it on another team in here, which I have on another store. This is live. If I click the customized team, uh, you can see this is the down team, which is the live one. And we can easily bring changes on this one. So the idea is to use uh, the section everywhere properly in the product page. If I come to the products in here, I can create a product um, template. You can name it anything you want. For example, if you have 10 products, some of them are like having different design. For example, this product has a classic. I put classic, but you can put more like descriptive name since you can put up to 25 character. Now, how you want the template to be, if you have multiple templates, you can copy it based on another template. I can say based on the default template, which is the product.json. I create this one. Once you create this one, you have to assign it to a product. So let's assign to this is sparkling water. I'm going to click in this uh, little icon to open it on a new theme uh, in the new tab. Now you scroll down and in here you will assign the classic template to this one. Let's come back to the code and let's assign some custom section in this classic one. I will use this text and image. Let's give it a really nice image. Let's say this is the classic. And for the demo, I'm going to text, uh, update this text also. So this is classic template. Now I'll save it. We can see this is the classic template. It is a bit buggy at the time of this recording. It copied the data on different product. But for now, this is you have to know. So if you check this one, uh, this classic is assigned to two products at the time like I am doing this one. The other product is I don't know which one. So now you see it's sparkling water will have this classic. Now let's go back to the catalog and see if we have another uh, product in here. Let's say the summer sound. If I come to this one, check it out. This one does not have that one. And if you are adding a section, it is going to be applied to only the product you assign. So this one is using the default template. It doesn't have those changes. So you can add your own section. Let's say you have a banner in here. Uh, this is the banner. Let's pick an image. This guy is running, looking nice in here. And this is the banner. Now you will save it. This is your default temp. No, no, this is the back. It refreshed the page and it come back to this one, to sparkling water, which we picked. And so if I go back to catalog, we will go to the summer sound and the summer sound will have this image in here. You can see the different product have different template. Now imagine if you have more templates, if you have worked with Shopify client, some of them have a lot of description after the product itself to define the product. You have a size guide, you have a, um, let's see FAQ about the product and you have the feature of the product outlying, outlying in different sections. You can put them specifically in here which is working just fine. Now you can add as many product template as you want. For now, we have just created classic. You can have your own one more than that. Yeah, that is basically how you can use the power of section everywhere. And now each of those product can have its own without touching the code. So if you are following along until here, I'm going to show you some more things. If you go to the code behind the scene, what it did, it just created those template dot json in the template directory this is the product dot uh, classic dot json which they have created in here 
and if I scroll down this is the the template that they have you have the order of the main which is the main product product recommendation and the last one is this code which is related to this uh, product with image and it has it its own unique ID you don't have to read this one you will never do this one but as a developer you understand like this is here next time you come to your theme editor all you have to do is just sync it once you sync it it is going to automatically get the code for you from your live store so i hope it has been informative thank you for watching and yeah i think that's it and in the next video we'll explore more thing about section everywhere how you can use um, metafield and dynamically uh, fetching data from metafield yeah that's it thank you for watching i'll see you in the next video